welcome back to my channel today i am going to prepare tiger nut pudding aka atajo milk which is what is known by in ghana this pudding is so delicious and tasty tiger nut has a lot of benefits it's high in fiber it's rich in nutrients it boosts the immune system and it also acts as an aphrodisiac let's get started so tip number one for best result of this pudding use smaller tiger nuts not the big ones so use the smaller ones okay make sure you select the bad nut as it spoils the taste of the pudding so i have selected the bad nut and i'm going to chuck it away i have my local rice here all the way from ghana you can use any rice of choice for this recipe but plain rice is preferred and not perfumed rice you can also use rice flour to make this recipe I will now rinse the tiger nut that I'm going to use. Rinse till the water is clear. Welcome, if you're feeling fabulous, this is where to be. Cause we got what you like. Food made with love, sexy chin. We make everything African. I will be using Lamy Cook's method of rinsing her grains and nuts. So basically, a calabash gourd is used for this technique. However, if you don't have a calabash, you can use any other bowl. So put the tiger nut in the calabash, swirl it in the water, pour it into your palm, and then look through your palm if you can see any stones or any foreign thing. Welcome, if you're feeling fabulous, this is where to be. Cause we got what you like. If the tiger nut is very dirty and has lots of stones, all the stones will settle at the bottom. As you can see, I have found some few stones at the bottom of the calabash, which proves that Lamy Cook's technique works. Thank you, Lamy Cooks. Rinse it one more time. Add water and I'm ready to soak this tiger nut. I'm going to rinse the rice until the water is clear. Like I said earlier, you can use any rice of choice for this recipe, but plain rice is preferred and not perfume rice. And you can also use rice flour for this recipe. Soak the tiger nut in water, cover it and leave it overnight. Soak the rice in water, cover it and leave it overnight. It's morning and I am ready to prepare my tiger nut pudding, aka Atajo milk. Rinse the tiger nut one more time. Welcome, if you're feeling fabulous, this is where to be. Cause we got what you like. Rinse the rice one more time. Mm -hmm. 
and strain the water off. In a blender, add your tiger nuts and add the rice. I will leave all the ingredients and the measurements in the description box. Welcome, if you're feeling famished, this is where to be, cause we got what you like. Add water. We love sex kitchen, we make everything African, yeah. Cover it and blend. So when blending, I normally use the pulse button to crack the nuts first, which makes it easy to blend. Welcome, if you feeling famous, this is where to be, cause we got what you like. Strain it and using your hand with a little bit of pressure, extract the milk. You can blend the pulp again to extract more milk, and that is exactly what I did. At this point, I'm going to strain it one more time to ensure there is no pulp in the tiger nut milk. Squeeze the milk out. Welcome, if you feeling fabulous, this is where to be. This is what I got after using the cheesecloth. I just love using cheesecloth. It does the work perfectly. With tiger nut pudding, caramelized sugar is normally used, but it's actually based on preference. You can add just normal sugar if you want, but I like to prepare it this way. So in a pot, add sugar over medium heat till you get the desired caramel color, which is the dark caramel color we're looking for. The sugar will start to melt. The sugar will start to clump up, but this is normal. Just continuously stir. Keep stirring until the sugar is completely dissolved. Welcome, if you're feeling famous, this is where to be, cause we got... Add some water to prevent crystallization. And be very careful when you add the water as it splatters and can burn you. So add the water slowly and carefully and be sure to use a long ladle to avoid any burns. Okay. Overcooking the syrup can introduce a sour taste to the pudding, so make sure you turn off the cooker once you add the water to it. On medium heat, I'm going to start cooking the tiger nut pudding. So using a wooden ladle, I'm going to continuously stir at the same direction. Stir continuously till it thickens. This is actually very important. Do make sure that you stir at the same direction. God, what you like. You can use a whisk or a spatula to stir, but just make sure you stir at the same direction. If not, you will get lumps in your tiger nut pudding. Add 
add some salt and stir. You can add a little bit of water if it's too thick. Welcome, if you're feeling famous, this is where to be. Cause we got what you like. Food made with love. Add the caramelized sugar and stir. Welcome, if you're feeling famous, this Using the ladle, I beat it up and continuously stir. Welcome, if you're feeling fabulous, this is where to be. Cause we got what you like. Food made with love, sax kitchen. We make everything African, yeah. For your food and snacks, now that we got your back. The color of Atajo milk is normally brown, so you can add more caramelized syrup until you get the preferred brown color you want. The cooking time is between 30 to 45 minutes. And I've been cooking this tiger nut pudding for about 45 minutes now. And voila, my atajo milk is ready to serve. Welcome, if you're feeling fabulous, this is where to be. Cause we got what you like. Food made with love. Look at that. Beautiful. Tiger nut pudding are usually served with a toffee like caramel sweet, which is made from the pudding. So, to get this, I left about two tablespoons of the tiger nut pudding in the pot and I cooked it for about five to seven minutes. And voila, I am done with my Atajo milk pudding. Tiger nut pudding is best served with milk, but that is optional. You can eat it like that. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click on the notification bell so you can get notified whenever I post a new video. Until the next video, bye for now. Welcome, if you're feeling fabulous, this is where to be, cause we got what you like, food made with love, sacks kitchen, we make everything African, yeah, for your food and snacks, know that we got your back, gentle ladies, Welcome to Zach's Kitchen.